All right, my friends, Captain Jason Morton here. Uh, I was going to go over something with you guys. I'm changing the house around even more. I'm going to put in uh, metal brackets up there and put in a shelf up there. I'm getting to this shelf right here right now. I need to get down here and drill two holes so that I can put a metal pole right there. And it's a shower pole. It was never going to stay in the shower. I didn't need all that stuff in the shower. It's going to go in right there across the, across the, and all of those will have them. All of those will have some kind of metal shelf so that I can hang things from them. All of those brackets will have some kind of metal shelf. So just like this, they'll all have some kind of metal pole so that I can hang things off of it. Everything will hang. I've already I've already told you guys. There's nothing that won't hang. There won't be nothing on the floor. And anything that is on the floor will have wheels on it. Like that. Everything will be able to move that's on the floor. But see how I moved the whole table? And I didn't have no problem. All I had to do was unclip the one wire from there. And move the whole table so I can get in there. And I want to put my plastic bins back in there. But I want them to be able to come on and off. So I'm making them so that they can go on and off the wall. Right here. I'm building them so they can go on and off the wall. So they can just, you can just lift it up in the back. And that requires four holes. And these only have two. So I have to make holes like the way it is on top, I need to make holes like that on the bottom. So once it's on all four screws, it can be held. And I want to put another metal bracket right in the middle to make the shelf even stronger. But it all depends because that's open wall underneath there. And really putting three screws in it, it's not going to do nothing unless, unless there's something behind it that's strong. And I'm going to test it in a minute with my drill unless I can find something behind it that's strong it won't really make a difference so I'll just leave it the way it is but behind there was the fireplace and they just boarded it all up and sealed it in I should knock it all down and use the fireplace but like I said I don't even care <laughs> I'll build one in the in the basement or use my little metal one outside if I have no heat but I won't have that problem. It's not something I'm really worried about. But I want to get this shelf in there so that I can hang all my tools on it. So you can see how long it is. And I just took cotter pins, drilled through it, and put cotter pins in it where it separates. I left one part left to separate to put through the hole right there. And I could just buy a brand new one and leave this one in the bathroom. But I don't even need it in the bathroom. Like I said, I never used that much space anyway. I never really needed that over here all the way to the ceiling. And it wasn't what it was going to be used for anyway the whole time. But it sat in there for two years while I was in jail. Like I said, I didn't get to do what I wanted. All the stuff that I bought has a purpose, and it's not all for the purpose that <laughs> I bought it for. And artificial intelligence wants me to make sure that, you know, I show everybody and tell everybody what I bought things for, where I got them. This shelf came off of, for the bathroom, came off of Amazon. So... I order everything off of Amazon if I can. I just got in my friend Sonia's laptop screen. I need to make this table roll, but I've got to find where I put the wheels. So I just got it cleared off and everything cleared off the couch and everything cleared off the table. I want to put these tools away, but I got to put that pole in first so that, that I can hang them and get them out of my way. And I got to find the wheels for this table. I put them in the back bedroom. But then I moved them again, so now I don't know where the hell I moved them to, but I'll find them. 
I've got to find those wheels, make this table so it can roll. And then I can start working on her laptop screen, which is right there. I got a package today of cargo pants, two of them, the ones I'm wearing, and these ones. I lost all the weight that I had gained at the state mental hospital, the 110 pounds. I'm back to a size 32, but I ordered a size 38, 32 anyway, just in case I gain weight again ever. But, I mean, the pants will probably be no good by the time I gain that much weight. Makes me laugh. I ordered, I got uh, a 16-foot USB 3.0 cable today. And my old one, my white one broke. So I could have ordered a 25-foot USB 2.0. But why do that when I need the USB 3.0s for my computers? So I just ordered this 16-footer so that I could hook it to my phone because I tested the charger with the phone and it still fast charges on my phone with this USB 3.0 cable. And that's just something that I tested because... I had, like I said, I had a 16-foot USB 2.0 white one, and the dog chewed it. Now I got a short, short old one on my bedroom, and I don't want that. I remade my cooking station onto this little table, and the table lifts up so that I can work on stuff and do stuff. I don't have to have this stuff on this table. I can take it all off, put it in there on one of the shelves, and then put it back together or not, whatever. But I'm trying to get to everything right now, clean everything up. I'm going to take this these brackets off of here. Like I said, I'm going to take those off of the wall there. And I'm going to put them up there on the window ledge and then put a shelf across there so I can put more equipment like that, like this, up there. I'm going to put back together my metal shelves on my walls. And I've got the bracket that, or the bucket, little bins and buckets that I had on there before that McKinley and her mom broke the plastic piece when they took it off. So I ordered another one to put those back up on the wall the way that I had it before. Um, putting the metal shelves that are in here, in my closet, back up on the walls, putting my tools back on them, turning my house back into the computer business that I wanted it to be, and they're not going to tell me what I can do and what I can't do. All right, like...